Paint it up in anniversary colors. A locomotive pulls Amtrak's California Zephyr into Sacramento Station. We'll soon be aboard for one of the most scenic and famous trains in the United States. We'll start in San Francisco and trace the Continental Railroad in reverse, as my wife Liz and I did twice. We'll cross the Sierra Nevada mountains to Reno, then travel through the mountains of Utah and Colorado. This is where the California Zephyr offers the most spectacular scenery. We'll rumble across the Great Plains and cross the Mississippi River at Omaha. Then we'll continue on to Chicago, where the California Zephyr terminates, or begins, depending on which direction you're going. Pulling out of Sacramento, we soon cross the American River. On this early segment, we had historic interpretation from a volunteer of Sacramento's Railroad Museum. Today, we'll be traveling over one of the most scenic railroad routes in the United States. It is also the western end of our nation's first transcontinental railroad. We climbed and climbed until that river we crossed was just a distant ribbon of water. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cape Horn. This promontory overlooks the North Fork of the American River, which is visible below from the right side of the train. At this point, the river is about 1,800 feet below us. Early day passenger trains stopped here and the riders was invited to the train and enjoy this spectacular view. By the way, this is the same river we crossed as we departed Sacramento. We are on the California Zephyr. We've just crossed the area where the gold fields were back that started the 1849 gold rush and now we're in the Sierra Nevada. We'll be going near Donner Pass and we'll end up near Truckee before the day's over. It wasn't long before we started seeing snow up here. And it wasn't long before we enjoyed eating lunch in the dining car. <laughs> the Sierra Nevada mountains were a major obstacle for the Central Pacific Railroad, building eastward to meet the Union Pacific. The dangerous back-breaking work was of no interest to white laborers, so Chinese work gangs were employed to blast a trail through the mountains. The Chinese workers proved strong and dependable. Without them, there would have been no transcontinental railroad at that time. They found that they could only trust each other when setting off dynamite to blast tunnels from hard rock. The California Zephyr passes through many of these tunnels through the Sierra Nevada mountains. The California Zephyr passes above Donner Lake, named for the infamous event in the history of the Oregon-California Trail. In a classic example of, you shouldn't ignore people when they know what they're talking about, the Donner Party got trapped in these mountains during the winter and soon had nothing to eat but each other. Descending from Donner Pass, the California Zephyr passes a freight train waiting on a siding. Following the Truckee River, we emerge from the mountains to a much drier landscape. We saw lots of desert in the state of Nevada. It's here we ended our first day on the California Zephyr and anticipated what the rising sun would show us on the following morning. 